Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that. And I do uh, would like to make a couple of statements. Number one, there may be discretion for the chair in opening statements, and you may enjoy hearing Ms. Harris talk, but under Rule 11, you do not have discretion under the five-minute questioning rule to continue that. It is interesting, though, the way we talked about political consideration of uh, prosecutors today. In fact, I have a really big problem going on right now in Fulton County, Georgia, where a prosecutor, it appears, has put political motivations in a re-election bid uh, at the heart of going after the Atlanta Police Department. And just as was said earlier by a gentlelady from Texas, it's never acceptable to turn a blind eye to unfairness, and this needs to stop. Mr. Howard does need to remove himself, and the investigation, which has never been done and finished, needs to continue so that the right can be done for all parties, as we have been speaking about prosecutorial the gentleman ethics yield? today. No, I will not. You're considering, Mr. Elias, you consider yourself to be non-political career staff. That was your statement, correct? When I go into the Justice Department every day, as a career employee, I leave my politics at home, yes. Okay. And that was the same as Mr. Zelensky, Strzok, Mr. Strzok, Ms. Page, others have done that. Let me ask you a question. As a career staff uh, being non-political, did you ever attempt to get detail to this committee's majority staff? Um, I, like yes or no. people over time, have explored various career options. Did you, within the last, under this majority, ask to be detailed to this majority staff? Um, I had a very preliminary conversation with... Uh, you, so you did have a conversation? Yep. Was it to work on antitrust policy? Uh, it was, yes. Okay, and as we have all sworn under oath here, in fact, th did you not ask to be detailed to the committee's work on oversight during impeachment? Is that not correct? Refresh your memory. I, I may have also asked for oversight at one point with, with the blessing of assistant attorney. Okay, so you asked to come to this committee. As a career, as a career staffer, non-political career staffer, you were asking to be detailed to this committee to work on impeachment. You wanted to come work for the majority during the impeachment of Donald Trump. Is that not correct? If not, if, I understand how that answer would be troubling. So if you want to just no, stop right there, I, you've answered. I actually think that... I think it was a year prior. I, I honestly think it was. Uh, but the detail to this majority, we were the majority beforehand. This was to the majority. It, it was uh, early 2019. Uh, okay, so. that's the majority of this staff here, and we were starting every investigation known to man at that point. In fact, they hired very good attorneys out in New York to become friends with them. But you asked to come to this committee. I, so, I, Alain, a little bit of the career staff, let's just leave it there. Let's go to your actual testimony today. Okay. In your written testimony, you contended that mergers with cannabis industries were, quote, unlikely to raise significant competitive concerns. You further stated that few documents, uh, a few of the documents produced in response to the subpoenas were ever reviewed by antitrust division staff. You essentially said that the second requests were made for purposes of burden these companies. So you filed, as you cited earlier, a DOJ uh, about complaint about this with the Inspector General. Is that correct, yes or no? Yes. Okay. And the Inspector General handed the complaint over to the Office of Professional Responsibility for the investigation, correct? No. Uh, the, Excuse me? The Office of Special Counsel handed it to the Office of Professional Responsibility. So, but it was handed over and investigated. Is that not correct? That's correct. Okay. So, as you're, you're reading, and that is fine, you can give your half of the story. Continuing on, the letter of the Office of Professional Responsibility, uh, the Office of Professional Responsibility indicated that they conducted a thorough review of your claims and concluded they were without merit. Is that not true? So they concluded that even if the investigations were motivated by animosity, that that would still comply with the DOJ. So my answer to my question is yes. In fact, what did the letter say? It said, from the OPR, it reviewed the submissions from the Whistleblowers Council and ATR, conducted its own review of the relevant laws, regulations, rules, policies, guidelines governing the issuance of second request, and reviewed publicly available information concerning the cannabis industry. OPR's review found support for the ATR's response. The cannabis industry provided a unique challenge to the federal and state regulators alike, and it was reasonable for ATR to seek additional information from the industry through its second request process. In addition, contrary to the whistleblower's allegations, the documents provided by ATR reflect significant and successful negotiations among ATR and the cannabis companies concerning the narrowing of the scope of the second request. Furthermore, the internal memorandum recommending the closure of the investigations reflect that ATR staff conducted a significant amount of analysis regarding the competitive impact of the proposed mergers and often explained how the actions of state regulators offset competitive concerns, basically undercutting the very discussion that you had in your opening statement. The concern even goes on further, and this is an interesting one. You wrote in your written testimony that you were, the cannabis injury you instructed the staff, quote, were not instructed to conduct interviews of customers and that marijuana is not a Schedule One drug, correct? Is it a Schedule One or not? Uh, I'm not That's sure exactly which schedule it's on, but it's on one of them, yes. 
I, you were part I, of an antitrust in marijuana and didn't know how it was scheduled, and then we've asked to be part of this committee. Mr. Loss, you're, 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 the, the credibility of this is going downhill quickly here. So, Mr. So, Chairman, I mean, this, this, at this point in time, I'm entering into the record the letter from the Office of Press Responsibility basically clearing anything that was done in DOJ. I ask that it be committed into the record. Without objection. Without objection. I yield back. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I